Developing a good morning routine and sticking with it can be quite a challenge sometimes. But once you find a morning routine that truly works for you, it will benefit you in ways that you would have never imagined. Today, I'm taking you along with me for a mindful and productive morning. This one hour morning routine really helps me to slow down and connect with myself. And I hope it can inspire you to put more thoughts into your mornings to kickstart your day. During the past few months, I've been trying to get up early and now it is 6 a.m. Instead of using the automatic alarm that is quite loud and tends to give me a heart attack sometimes, I switch my alarm to a peaceful and bright song that can wake me up more gently. To start off, I like to make my bed, because when you walk into an organized clean space, you feel excited to do things with your daily life. So make your home your happy place. After getting up, I like to keep a clear and uninfluenced mind to myself during my morning routine. So instead of scrolling down on my phone screen and getting sucked into social media feeds, I normally put my phone away in a designated space so that I can focus on creating something on my own rather than consuming others' information during my precious morning time alone. After putting my phone away, I will start my favorite morning playlist and go to the bathroom to freshen up. During this 5-10 to 10 minute period, normally I'm still in the process of getting fully awake. One trick to make this period more fun is to start visualizing something very pleasant and inspirational. It can be anything, as long as it makes you happy and inspires you. For example, it can be something you look forward to today, it can be your dream vacations, it can be you picturing yourself accomplishing something important today, and it can be your ideal relationships with your loved ones and with yourself. Visualizing like this is not only fun but also very powerful. After vividly picturing your dreams or something you've always wanted to do for a while, your vision becomes clearer and you start to think about ways to make it happen. And one small step after another, you are already on your way to your dream situation. After getting freshened up, I'm heading downstairs for my lemon water. Getting a cup of lemon water in the morning does not only rehydrate your body from a whole night's sleep, it is also a great way to wake up your body and mind for a brand new day. In addition to boosting your digestive system, various nutrients in lemons such as vitamin C can also boost your immunity, helps maintain a healthier skin and a healthier weight. While my body is still absorbing the lemon water I just drank, I'm sitting in my favorite spot ready for my 10-minute meditation session. I found meditation a great way to care for myself. A few minutes of mindfulness can calm everything down so that I can just be with my thoughts. Being able to have this 10-minute quietness and mindfulness to myself every day, I've become more aware of what is important and what is not important in my life. It gives me a focus and a much clearer mind throughout the day. And now I can better manage my energy level both mentally and physically. After the meditation, I'm putting out my yoga mat, ready for some stretching to fully wake my body up. But first thing first, I'd always like to pick a good playlist to start with. The playlist I'm listening to now is called Lounge Soft House. I found it on Spotify and I've been really liking it for morning stretching and lounging around the house. Okay, now let's start our stretches. Beginning with a comfortable sitting position, let's stretch our upper body first, starting with a neck release. First, bring your left hand towards your head and touch your right ear, and just gently pull the ear further away from your right shoulder, and keep pressing it. While at this position, keep 5 deep breaths, letting the head be heavy and concentrating on your breath. With one last deep breath, release left head back to center. 
Let's switch side and do the same thing again. Now the tension in my neck from a long night's sleep is released, and it just feels so good and relaxed. Then I will be doing a few rounds of cat and cow to release the tension on my back and spine, starting with a tabletop pose with both hands and knees. As you inhale, drop your belly and stretch your spine upward, vertebrae by vertebrae, from your tailbone all the way to your neck. As you exhale, round your spine and draw your chin to your chest. Repeat five times like this, and you will find freedom and relaxation in your body almost right away. This is one of my favorite stretching poses, and it works wonders to relax your body, especially after a long time sitting at your desk. Afterwards, I will pick another few stretching poses depending on which area I feel the most tension that day. While stretching out, just be very mindful of your breath, and it feels so amazing opening up your body like this every morning. Next up, nothing feels better than enjoying a good cup of coffee and taking the time to make a healthy and delicious breakfast in the morning. It is truly one of my happiest moments of the day, and it has become one of my major motivations to wake up and start my day early. I normally drink two shots of coffee in the morning to kickstart my day, and then switch to drinking tea or water in the afternoon. This way, I'm intaking enough caffeine to stimulate my mind during the day, and at the same time, not drinking any coffee past 2 p.m. I'm making sure that my sleep cycle won't be affected when I go to bed around 11 p.m. Okay, now we have our coffee. I'm ready for some breakfast. The process of making coffee and breakfast is like meditation for me. It is a time when your mind can quiet down and fully concentrate on the food you are preparing. And let's be honest, good food always makes people happy. So I'm really enjoying my daily food therapy here. While enjoying my breakfast, I like to read my magazines for inspirations and fresh ideas. Reading diverse topics by different creators can really inspire me to look at things from different perspectives, and will almost surely light up my imagination. It is a quite important time for me to recharge for my creative contents. After breakfast, I'm wrapping up my morning routine with journaling. Which gives me clarity and points me to the right direction for my day ahead. I've simplified my morning journaling down to only three sections, and I'm loving this new format. It is short and sweet, but very effective. To start off, the first section has three items, and it kind of serves as a guidance of my day. So the three items I have here is daily highlight. One thing that I'm grateful for, and one thing I want to let go of. So here, the daily highlight is the one thing that can make our day count, and that is what we are gonna focus on today. For example, the daily highlight for me today is to editing this morning routine video and recording the voiceover. So essentially, the rule of thumb for picking our daily highlight is. To pick the one thing that you want to get done today to make today a win, 
Having this daily highlight really helps point myself to the right direction. Once you know this one thing you want to focus on today, everything else kind of works around it and falls into place accordingly. After writing my daily highlight, I'm gonna write one thing that I'm grateful for today. So today, I'm grateful that I get to have this time and resources to create contents that I've always wanted to make. And then the last item is the one thing that I want to let go of. For example, since I've got a long to-do list today, I'm feeling quite worried that I may not be able to get everything done by the end of the day. So I want to let go of that worry and remind myself that as long as I keep working on the next smallest right step, I will be on the right track getting the right things done. By now, we've already got a great guideline for the day after writing our daily highlight, one thing that we are grateful for, and one thing we want to let go of. And next, we are gonna make things a little bit more specific, and here comes the morning dump section. I call it a morning dump because it is basically a to-do list of everything else I want to get done, and also some random thoughts that I might have forgotten if not written down. The morning dump section helps relieve and empty my mind onto the page, and it gives me a clarity of what I need to get done. Having the peace of mind knowing exactly what I need to do, I will prioritize everything and use time blocks to schedule each task into my daily schedule, which is the last section of my morning journaling. Thank you guys so much for spending this morning with me. I hope this video inspires you to put more thoughts into your mornings and challenge yourself to be more mindful working towards what you've always wanted.